Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Judy and you are watching Winning So and So and it's so lovely to have you here with me today. I really do appreciate you coming back for another video. I'd like to say thank you again to everyone who's taken the time to like, comment and subscribe. I've got some new subscribers and it's just so lovely that you've taken the time to choose to subscribe to my channel and it means so much to me. Thank you so very, very much. So I'm coming today with a sort of a bit of a mixed sewing video. I can never get everything out on a Friday. And my internet, you know, I do feed the meter, seriously, I do, I do. But hey-ho, it's just one of those things. And I turned up at Tristan's on Friday and he goes, have you got a video then, Mum, to upload? And I was like, no, I've come to play with this one. I had solo grandma in time. I had half an hour on my own with Oliver, which was absolutely delightful. So what have I been doing? So I've got a bit of a montage. And as you can see, I have called this vlog Trousseau or Trousseau because in order to keep my sojo, I love that term, sojo, keep my sojo as best as I can, I always view my sewing time as my special quality time for me. And I won't sew until I've done absolutely everything else. And there's lots of other things in my life that I like to do. I like, obviously I've got walking, I like going up to help at Castle Howard, but also I like my garden. So I have been growing some seeds. So I have been sowing, but I have been sowing seeds. So I thought you might like to see those. But the vlog starts with my brother. Now, excuse me just looking down for a minute because I've actually got the vlog in front here. It's all edited. So at the very beginning, I'm just going to show you now what I did. And here you go. There you go. So what did my brother do? Well, my brother never asks me to do anything for him and he's very generous to me, but he said, can you? Do you think it's possible that you can? All the round about the houses things. And he goes, basically, I'm going to the eclipse. And I went, okay, I'm going for four days. And I went, fine, you do that, Simon. I want a t-shirt with a logo on it. And then I want, on the other side, I want, um, where do you go? France 99, Tennessee, 2017, Niagara 2024, totality or bust. My brother is a year, a week and a day younger than me. And we're both quite crafty and arty. Uh, I blame dad for that. So I said, yeah, I can do that for you, Simon. So I've got to get you a t-shirt and I went, don't panic. Just send me one on Amazon. So, 24 hours later, this was on Easter Sunday, I might, I might add. Came home from Castle Howard volunteering and there was the t-shirt. That evening, we sat down and we ordered some logos on Etsy uh, for the, the big logo. And then I did the wording, because you can, on my machine, I can do wording. I could, I could also add in little bits of logo, so I could have put that wording around his big logo, but it would probably have ended up too big for the screen. But it was great, because I've not used the embroidery unit for about three years. No, I tell a lie. I haven't used the embroidery unit for about 18 months since I did the tree skirt. So it was great to get it out and just get straight on and get it used. So, um, I'm not going to put a picture of Simon in wearing a t-shirt because he doesn't want to be on my vlog. But all I can say is he absolutely loved it. And I got loads of pictures from him at Niagara Falls on Eclipse Day wearing his t-shirt. So after that, I then start gardening. And the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm sowing! I'm sowing some more seeds. And what I'm doing is the Lisa Comfort Jazzy Rose Grows grow along. So I've over the past few weeks have been buying seeds, acquiring seed trays and I have been growing them and Lisa is giving us um, tips. We get, we've got especially a special private Instagram group and a special private Facebook group and on those she's posting as little videos on how to do everything. I have done seeds before 
but it's actually quite good to get somebody nattering at you and saying do this now do that now do the other now I'm a little bit behind them because I was quite busy when it all happened but I have caught up and have a little look at my zippy green now See them. Oh, you can look. There's my little sewing tray just on the other side of my window. But I'm south facing here, so they get lots of lovely sunshine, and here they get lots of lovely sunshine and warmth as well because they'll get the heat from the bricks coming back. So it's another take on sewing. I am a sewing. I've pricked, I've sewn some seeds in there. This is my pricking out. Uh, these are the ones I want to prick out next, and I've got some little pots, small pots, and things to prick out into. I just need to get some more of these because they're really good to put the plants in and I can get them in. I think I can get two side by side. Hold on. I can get two side by side. I know where there's some spare ones. It does push it out slightly at the side. Oh, there. And it should um, come down and I've got another shelf there. And there, pull this one back out. I picked up this, um, what they call Zippy Greenhouse at the Castle Howard Garden Centre. They had the one offer. But I'm really pleased with that windy day. Let's try and get out for a dog walk before storm. Kathleen takes over. Back in we come, an absolute, an absolute mess and it's confession time. Right, so this is my So Yellow Friendo Roxy top. Would you like my sewing confession? We love a sewing confession, don't we? I put the neck on back to front, but do you know something? The top is a little bit short for me, so I'm not really bothered. So I'm wearing it for the garden and for dog walking and it's really good at this time of year to have a top that is just that level of warmth. And if I wanted to, I could take it off and turn it around. Or maybe I could put a little bit of embroidery there. Let's see what happens. Knowing me, I wear it to death because it's super comfortable. And that's what matters. Now then, off we go for a dog. So, I am in the woods and I'm with the dogs and I have got to cross this. This pond here, behind me, this pond here is a flooded footpath. I have got my wellies on because in the past I've gone all the way around. But I've got two happy dogs uh, and I thought it's Easter holidays. Go back to work on Monday. Um, and you've not had Castle Howard and you've not had the dogs. So prepare yourself for a dog egg extravaganza. I will get through. I know it's not too deep. The, bit, the way I went before it was too, was too deep. Look at where you can see that underneath, you know it's not too deep. And we've got Storm Kathleen above. Do you see where Maggie is down there? I've got to get across that. And the grass is now growing through this lake. If I throw this, it'll sort of, I can see. Now that's gone deep where Poppy is over there. She's dropped down her leg length. It's not too bad there. So if I go like that, Maggie will follow it. It's not too bad there. But I need to see what it's like in the middle. I'm sure I went across the middle last time and I think I might have to run. Magwag, try this one. There. No, that's where I'm going. Straight the way across here. And now I can see it. I am just going to prove that I'm in the middle of this. Look. Yeah, I'm in the middle of it. The things you do for a dog. Did you hear that, girl? The things I do for you, she's been very naughty and she knows it. So she's trying to prove that she's a really good girl at the moment. She went off, she encouraged Poppy to go, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's muddy water, Magwag. So I just finishing off with the sewing today of the plants, just thought I'd show you what I've done. I've had them outside today because it's been mild as we all know and I've had them in the little zippy greenhouse. 
but moving forward I honestly don't think it's a good idea to keep them out so I've got two different seeds in here I've got Nigella and I've got Ami and I've got my cornflowers in this one and this one but not the end two here and only one in there and I've just put this because it, it just needs storing somewhere and what I'm going to do is I've got some more of these at school that we're not using so I took them to school so I might bring them home and we can stack them so if necessary I can stack another one but my house here is west facing so the plants will get sunshine only in the evening and there's a radiator here so they'll stay warm and they're out of the way of the dogs because it's actually quite a tall it's really tall actually. So I'm back at the sewing machine and I'm going to do the stitch test for my Seasons of East Autumn in New York dress. The reason I'm doing a stitch test is I want to check the, which needle to use. Now, I normally sew with the same needle for everything, but with this being a very special fabric, I wanted to get it right. So normally I use an organ needle and these are titanium needles. I'm not advertising, but I buy them from David Drummond in Edinburgh. I'm sure you can buy them on Amazon, but if you want them quickly and easily, if you just ring David up, he'll send them to you. As you know, I'm a great big fan of David. Right. He supplied my sewing machine and a lot of my threads and things over the years. So it's easy for me. I just ring him up and say, David, I need these, or I speak to one of the lovely ladies. Um, I've broken them. They're not unbreakable, but they are breakable. So in the sewing machine now we have, let's turn down to look at the sewing machine, shall we? So I want you to see that I'm doing this. So I have got all my scraps in front of me and this fabric is so fine. You can see how sheer it is. I can see you through it. It really is very, very, very fine. It is a polyester. So, you know, Hannah and Michael bought me this in Moot. It's a, but it's absolutely stunning and it's got a little can you see it's got like a little crinkly bit to it I don't know if you can see that can you see it's not, I mean I don't know sometimes I just feel that the cameras don't do it justice now let me go let me put behind me and you can't it's getting the light right for you to see behind it but it's really sheer very very fine I've got a 3.6 length stitch and I'm sewing against the little ripples on them. Can you hear? That's going across the grain. That's going down. Down the grain. Across. So here we go. I've got my hand in the way. I'm really sorry. I'm just holding the um, stitch down at the end. I think what I should be doing is perhaps not doing the lock stitch either end. Now, if this sews perfectly, I ain't changing the needle but I think I will just because I've got you guys here. Just get my little uh, bag of tools out. Looking for my screwdriver. So that is with a... Hmm. Now, if I'm being honest, you can't see it, but I feel it makes too many holes. So I can see little holes in that. Now, I've got a Microtex needle here from Prim. Oops, can you see? Yes, you can. Prim Microtex, brand new out the packet. I'm not quite certain where I've got these from. As you can see, I've got the integrated differential feed on. A lot of machines have those now. Very, very useful to have. Now, I'm going to do this one again because the um, end thread. Now, if you ever do this and don't finish off with your lock stitch, if you just grab a little pinch and then give it a pull out and take it to the side. Now, I can tell you that that is much kinder on the fabric. It's really hard. I'll try and put the two down side by side. I'm just going to do this with a... Um, I'm going to lower the stitch size a little bit to 3.0. Sorry, I've got my um, 
needle to finish in the down position, giving it a little pinch to pull it out. Pull it round. If you pull it out, it's a good idea because it will show you how much it pin marks. So I'm actually going to pull out the larger stitch. And pin marking is quite a good thing to note with your fabric. And with that one, I've got absolutely no pin marking. So this is the sharps. Let's see. Now with this particular needle, I have got the lock stitch on the end and I've got to be so careful that I don't. Brought this in really closely. Now what you, you might see here is, let me just use my pen, there is a slight catching of the thread there. Now that catching of the thread, I'm not certain if you're going to pick it up or not. And I've zoomed the camera in as close as I can. But this line here that I can see is perpendicular to my stitching line. There's a possibility that the needle could have quite easily caught a thread. And this is the one that I've done sewing with the titanium needle. So I am going to take the titanium needle and I'm going to put it in box. Sewing. Now most sewing machine needles will do up to four hours of sewing. The titanium needle will do ten, at least. Now I'm going to be very honest with this titanium needle and tell you what I did with it. The titanium needle I put in there, I did the embroidery on my brother's shirt. I did not change the needle. And my brother's shirt came out perfectly. I've got a 3.10 stitch in that and I absolutely love it and I'm going to use 3.10. So, if you bear with me, I'm gonna thread up the overlocker, I'm gonna do the same thing on the overlocker. Oh. There you are, back with me. So, overlocker threaded up, needle changed. Now, I am part, or should I say, Hello. I am probably the original member amongst the same vloggers of the Acclaim Club. I've had mine for quite a while now. I have the Baby Lock Acclaim overlocker, which is just here. Let me just bring this down so you can see. There she is, my baby locker claim. All threaded up with a three thread overlock. I guess I've got cream on the middle. It's only not going to be seen thread, so it doesn't really matter. I'm expecting to alter this, which alters the way that the fabric goes through the feed. Now, the whole point of the overlocker is that it will take the, the fabric correctly for the type of fabric it is, but Neutral is universal, so it should take it through with no problems whatsoever. I have got it on quite a long stitch, so I'm actually going to pull it back a little bit. And I'm actually going to start with it on number three. I'm wanting to do the frills for the um, Seasons of East dress double, rather than single, I'm wanting to do them double. So I'm actually going to see if I can join the two seams together with a three thread overlock and see what it's like. So I've actually got a very long, thin, two rather long, thin pieces of the fabric. And I am going to sew them together and see exactly what happens. I'm actually going to start halfway down. I, the one thing I love about my overlocker love is this is your presser foot. And with the overlocker, it's going behind is so difficult. When I use my cover stitch, it's behind, but here it's just amazing to have it here. Uh, and I'm absolutely loving the way I've reset up my sewing room. So I'm actually just going to sew it down the edge, coming in to chop a bit on. And I can tell you now, it's perfect. I can feel it going through. popping on head only my battery light's gone down so I'm going to stop there I've got my stitches sorted and I'm going to see if I can do this lovely little hem bit for my seasons of East dress and I'll be back with you tomorrow because I'm going to put this little bit on the machine for today see you later now the next thing I want to show you is because I haven't done any castle howarding I think you've had some dogs in the middle of that as well because they just slotted in with no problems at all and then I went up to Castlehead and we've had um, Easter over three weeks. It opened 
weeks, over weeks, over two and a half weeks. Castle Howard opened up for the public again on Good Friday and I actually was on shift on Good Friday. I had the option to choose whether to do the first shift or not and I thought, you know, I think that could be quite exciting and it was really lovely because Mr and Mrs Howard came and had down to the staff room at lunchtime and sat and had a chat with us all, which was utterly delightful. It makes you feel really appreciated. So we put they put in what we call the garden hall and if you've watched Brideshead Revisited this is the room where Charles Ryder is painting on the walls um, and they used the same room for the television program with Granada back in the 80s and the film uh, which was done about 16 years ago. So I thought we'd bring you in here today this is the garden room Castle Howard and these are the paintings if you remember Brideshead Revisited that Charles did during Brideshead Revisited and this is an Easter egg tree that has been put up for Easter and the eggs have all come from Austria collected by a member of the family and displayed on this beautiful Easter tree it's absolutely stunning absolutely stunning I've never seen anything so beautiful so here you go, here's your oh, Easter holiday bit of Castle Howard so I hope you really enjoyed seeing those eggs. The eggs on the trees are just absolutely stunning. They are from a private collection that are owned by the family and they acquire more each year and they come from Austria. So there you go. That's a little whistle, top st whistle stop tour of my week. Um, I haven't interfered with what I've said about my top tip this week, which is how to prep yourself for sewing. And I am doing seasons of e-stress and I'm doing it in my Balenciaga fabric which Hannah bought me from Mood and I am taking my time it is the most gorgeous fabric I have no idea how much it cost her I have not asked because it was a Christmas present but it is special but it is very very determined it does not like creasing I suppose if you're paying that much for a dress you don't want it to crease do you but when you're trying to sew it and you want to flatten the seam Anyhow, I do have coming up roll hemming and how I'm going to fit it. So there you go. And that's already filmed because this was filmed last week. Anyway, thank you so, so much for sticking with me. I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch me. I've got a few lovely thoughts and plans for the next few weeks. There will be an unboxing and I have spent my birthday voucher at the new Beyond the Pink Door store in Poundbury. So I was stuck in the hospital on Friday and I bought some fabric. Well, what else do you do when you're stuck in the hospital for in an indefinite period of time waiting for a blood test? I bought fabric, but it's not come yet. So that will, I will put that with the unboxing. I've got a lovely thought that shall come just as we hit into May. And I want to share with you my Balenciaga dress, which should be ready next week, but it might be a little while before I share it with you because I want to make certain that what I film is perfect. And I will review the dress. So far, it's going together beautifully. I can't find any fault with the pattern. The only thing that I would suggest you change, you'll find out when you watch the next instalment of Running So-and-So. There you go. Being secretive. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If you like what you've seen, give me a like. You can subscribe. There's a little button below. There's a little reminder popping down here. Leave me a comment and I'll see you all again very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.